the fellowship, meeting friends that I haven't seen for a while. I think the, the best thing is you get to meet your God. And you get to learn more about God. And you get to learn just how wonderful he is and how incredible he is. The worship here doesn't stop when the service stops. Meeting God. Yes, meeting with God. Well, meeting my church family. Uh, having got to know so many people here over the years now, it's, uh, it's just a, a family extension. One of the main things I really enjoy is just the sense of family here. It's like um, when you come in on a Sunday morning, you feel as though you're just meeting up with members of your family again and you see people that you know, and it's just such a wonderful atmosphere in here. Well, meeting friends and, and worshipping God in all the songs and stuff. The family, the sense of family that there is in the church, um, lots of people around, and although it's a bit intimidating when you first come and you think, oh, 300 people, it's actually really a really tight-knit community, and a lot of people will watch out for you and love you and care for you, and that's really cool. It's not just about coming to church for me, it's like my life is really, you know, it's revolving around God, and it's nice to focus on Him together with everybody else, just that, that time. Why am I a Christian? Um, I'd say the answer to that really is because I know that I can't live life without Jesus in my life. I think it's because I need more than just myself to rely upon. A Sunday school teacher called Peggy Bell told me that Jesus had died for me and he loved me. And at that age, it was like an arrow to the heart. And I've never forgotten it and I've never doubted it. I'm, I'm a completely different person, really. I was quite um, angry through well, as, a, as a teenager. Um, it's just wonderful knowing that um, I have a loving relationship with God and with Jesus and knowing that whatever I do and through anything, uh, God will be constant and God will be there. And so that's, that's really the main difference, I'd say. I just feel so many people are unhappy and haven't a hope. And I don't wear rose-tinted glasses. And Christianity doesn't give you a promise of everything being wonderful and pain-free. But I think being a Christian gives you that hope and that comfort that I see other people just don't have. Um, well, he's just a friend. He's always by you, comforting you and helping you through bad times. Well, the thing about Jesus is he died for me and he made that ultimate sacrifice for me and for you. And I think I just see him as my saviour and lord and, and the love he has and the fact that he, he says he will never leave or forsake me. And this is what I have, someone who has died for me and who is there always forever. Jesus uh, is my, my Lord and Saviour. Well, Jesus is my closest friend. Um, Jesus is, is the Son of God and he was and is and um, will always be the only person who is ever completely perfect in any way. And um, he, well, he died in our place. He died um, for the wrong that we did because he loves us so much and um, Jesus has opened up the way um, and made it possible for us to have a relationship with God whereas without Jesus we just would have fallen short. Agape love. Awesome. Love. What else? Awesome. Amazing. Easy. Awesome. Good. Wonderful. Brilliant. Fantasmagorical. Awesome, I think. That just did the word for him, really. Awesome. Wunderbar. Wonderful. Love. Awesome. This is the hard one. I would say he's indescribable.